Hello, my darling. Welcome to my channel. I'm your favorite dog, Jessie. There today again with a new pick-up pile reading, my darling. Oh, we that today we are gonna be knowing how would the tarot reader describe you to your future spouse about this marriage, this beautiful connection. Okay, what your person can expect from you, what type of person you are, and my darling, today I'm really going to do this video so that you just know that who you truly are okay like you can confirm your own energy you just you can just see yourself that exactly oh my god this is me exactly the way tarot readers are describing me to my person so that you understand that in my channel other videos where i just described your future spouse then that's going to be true as well my darling if you're new to my channel have no idea what is going on let me tell you i am an intuitive trader and i use my intuitions and magical power to channel message from angels and universe to guide you guys this is purely intuitive best reading so trust your intuition and trust your gut feelings to choose the perfect group for yourself just use your intuition my darling whatever feels right for you just choose that pile don't think too much okay like whenever you're using your intuition don't think too much just go with the flow pile number one you got the butterfly garden wow pile number two you got the night ride pile number three you got the pure nature wow so I'm going to give you the beautiful closure look where you can pause the video and choose the proper group for yourself, whichever you are drawn to. I hope my darling you choose the perfect group for yourself. So I'm going to give you the timestamps in the description box. Go there, click on the timestamps and the video will give you the exact timing when your pile is going to be started. And my darlings, if you're not into my soul tribe, go ahead, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for a new update because I upload every day and I love to get in touch with your energies okay so let's go jump into your reading hello my darling my amazing pile number one welcome 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 so you choose this beautiful butterfly garden right my darling you choose this amazing card so let me put this card here yes you can see this card right so this butterfly garden talks about curiosity discovery and small moments in life so tarot reader would describe you to your future spouse that you are someone you enjoy every little thing in everyday life so you enjoy the moment you enjoy everyday transformation you are very much curious about little things in life so you are someone my beautiful pet number one that you just show lots of curiosity about the world about what's going on in other people's minds some like somehow group number one you got so much thirst in yourself that you want to know so many things like sometimes you randomly search so many things to understand why this thing is here why this is made up okay what how it works so this kind of a vibe i'm sensing uh, can you see the card my darling a woman holds a blooming flower in her hand as she gazes towards the sky on her head sits a butterfly closely examining the purple petals enjoying the situation the woman stands still and quietly soaks in her surroundings she doesn't want to disturb the scene in our daily life there are so many possible moments that could be precious if we would just take the time to notice them be mindful of your surroundings and pay attention why is that there then make connections small observation can lead to great discoveries my group number one you're someone you're very observant and you observe every little things and a tarot reader is definitely describing you to your person that you are someone like a perfectionist yes my darling little things little details that really make so big impression on your mind okay maybe someone is definitely like a stranger okay and you just notice something in that stranger that is very strange and different and you will remember it you will share that thing to others you're very observant you're you're amazing okay you notice everything like there's nothing that can go under your nose okay so you are someone you just have those 
amazing spy qualities in yourself like you can be a good spy just you can be amazing a person who just notice many things who is naturally born lie detector who just understand the uh, depth of another people's thought you're someone like that so terror is definitely going to describe you someone like that okay so let me put this card here you can see this right so let's go find out first we're going to be looking from the oracle decks then we're going to be checking from the tarot so let's go find out spirit guides guide and angel archangel michael mahar so channel mrs rumi for my beautiful pet number one and how would the tarot reader describe you to your person okay how would a tarot reader describe you to your person Yes, you're an amazing listener. Okay, you listen to so many things. I number one, a, a terror reader definitely going to describe you as a person that people feel very relaxed. People feel very uh, comfortable to share their stories with. You can be a healer or you are, you are just a natural born healer where people generally drawn to you and share their secrets, their ideas, to you very naturally naturally people find you that you're very trustworthy and by number one you're someone people think that they can share their darkest secret and you're not going to spread the rumors you're not going to break the promise people find you that you're very authentic real trustworthy honest person it's your natural energy my group number one a tarot dealer definitely going to describe you to your person that you pile number one will be always there to listen others story so that people who feel uh, disrespected or disappointed by the society they feel like they have been heard by you like you are someone my darling you are there to listen people's story where people feel kind of kind of depressed kind of left alone in the corner you are there to listen to them you are very much um, nurturing nourishing loving and you have a very soft corner for the people who is not having the best life in their life you are someone like that okay okay also you got the elephant energy so elephant talks about pile number one you can be someone you you got a very good memory because elephant talks about learn from the past you have a very good memory and I also got the mice so no matter how small you are you are very useful okay you use your skill in a very broad way okay also a teleader would describe you as someone who just understand the difference between the wants and the needs okay who understand the difference between the necessity the mandatory things and the desires wish and dreams okay like you are someone my pal number one you're very much considerate of other people's value worth you just understand that what is very much necessary to build an amazing empire in this connection trust loyalty love commitment responsibility being truth to your partner be true to your partner be honest to your partner okay uh, not really looking other men or other women or just you know making fun of others it's not a good way to uh, build an amazing empire you understand those little things so well you are someone you're amazing you're you are uh, very much compassionate i number one a terror you're definitely going to describe you as someone that you are compassionate and you got the next level of acceptance you just accept the people as they are you don't try to change them because here someone is vegetarian and eating the veggies someone is eating the cake or the non-veg and you respect people's opinion and their choices you don't judge them for that okay so that a editor is going to describe you as someone that you understand the difference between what you need and what is your desire like what do you want Desire can be um, compromised with so many things, but needs or mandatory things cannot be compromised. Okay? Like, my group number one, you can live a day without drinking alcohol or without uh, getting your favorite 
soft drinks or hard drinks but you cannot live without drinking water right water is the necessity mandatory things to your body and this other food is like cold drinks or hard drinks or other things are like is your your, des your desires that are not necessary and you understand the difference so now your your person is going to know from your from a tarot reader that you are someone my pile number one you appreciate you appreciate your person to do good in their job in their study in their work you are a supporter you are a cheerleader you are the appreciator you're going to say so many good things to your partner that they have done a good job that they have done a very great job yes very good keep it up keep on doing good things you are amazing when it comes to motivation and like influence your partner with so much appreciation and positivity you're someone like that you're always there to make your person feel that they are appreciated loved supported and surrounded by so many positive things yes my pile number one you are someone like an appreciator okay how would the tell reader describe you my beautiful Height number one to your person. What do you have? Perspective. Okay. Look at that. What does a hawk see when it flies over your house besides the family of mice living nearby that you don't know about? What will your current problems, conflicts, complaints look like when you are 80 year old? And you gaze back on the timeline of your life. In this moment, you are being given the gift of clear perspective of knowing that in the end... Everything is going to be okay. Think large enough and even big issues become small. Become an 80 year old hawk and you are really onto something. You are, you are someone, my group number one, a tarot reader would describe you as a very mature person who is having a very big and broader perspective to look at the world. You are mature than your age, my pal number one. A trader is going to describe you to your partner like you're mature than your age, you're wise. You see the situation from a broader perspective. Even if there is a problem that you need to solve, you solve it as that you're mature than your age. So just, just for example, if you're 20 year old, you will solve the problem like you are an 80 year old person. There's so much of maturity, wisdom experience is there in your soul you are an old soul and somehow my darling you remember it somehow you just super consciously you just know that in the end of the day everything is going to be all white we are we are all gonna die so just give our best in every situation that's exactly what we should do and we are human beings we do mistakes that's okay we learn from our, from our mistakes and then we go on with our life this is the vibe I'm sensing. Like a territory is definitely going to describe you as someone who is very uh, mature than their age, wise, um, who is spiritually awakened, powerful, and always loving themselves. Like your 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 future spouse will know, my darling, from their tarot reader, that you are someone, pile number one. You just love yourself so much. You love yourself. You appreciate yourself. You support yourself. You know what's best for yourself. And you're going to be choosing your person to marry because you know this marriage is going to be the best choice for you. You're not someone that you're carried away by emotions and you're doing stuff because of some emotions. And when the emotions will go away, the conditions will go away, you will fall back. No, you're not, you're not someone like that, okay? You think logically when it comes to the marriage, your career, your everyday life. You just have that broader perspective. You think about future, you think about 10 years ahead, what's going to happen? How this person is going to deal with my uh, childlike behavior or with those things that I do. You think about future, you think about those times that normal people generally don't do that. But you do that, my group number one. A, th a tarot reader is going to describe you as someone who is amazing partner. Like you're so amazing partner that you understand understand the value of other person so let's go find out something from the tarot how would a 
tell you to describe you to your partner when it comes to husband or wife like what type of husband or wife are you okay what your person will know from a tarot reader oh wow king of cups oh my god you are the most loving emotional beautiful nurturing nourishing mature minded not jealous not possessive very open hearted generous hearted person you give the mother your father love to your partner a character is going to describe you someone like dolphin that you're always playful you love yourself so much that no matter how much love you give to your partner you will never feel drained and you just don't expect anything from your partner because you are like a sun you are like an ocean you are having so much depth in yourself you are having so much water so much emotion in yourself Group number one, as a as a habit, as a wifey, you are, oh my God, you are the emotional loving king or queen. You are going to give your person so much nourishment, love, romantic. You are the romantic king or queen. You are very romantic, very, very, very romantic, extremely romantic person you are. Very romantic person you are. Very romantic person, okay? So as a habit, your wife, you are very romantic. Uh, the romantic macho type, trustworthy, loving, generous, nourish, nourishing, nurturing, um, love to spoil their partner with lots of affection, kisses, hugs, maybe physical, that is physical love, that is your love language, my group number one, by giving your partner lots of physical love, also uh, words of appreciation, admiration, this is how you show your love, okay? Then how would a tarot ter reader describe your personality my darling okay let's take these two cards okay so you got the six of sword and the king of wands so our tarot reader is going to describe your personality and that you are someone you always work through the change so no change can stop you no change can stop you from doing whatever you're doing you're very much consistent with your approach with your ideas with whatever you are doing there is no condition that can change pile number one from doing something that they are doing. Consistent, loyal, loving. Six of Swords talks about transition. Like uh, like the season change, maybe everything, maybe something will change around this connection, but this connection will never change. Like pile number one, you are like the art, that the new seasons are coming, but the art is not changing. The art is exactly the, the perfect place where the art should be. You are someone like that. All the six of swords talks about that. Pile number one, like you are someone. You just enjoy beautiful communication. Because six of swords talks about communication. Um, knowing many things. Traveling. Seeing new places. So you just enjoy lots of transition. And with the king of wands. Well, my darling. Um, a tarot ter reader is going to describe you to your person that you are someone you enjoy jewelries, you enjoy material things, you enjoy uh, branded clothes. If there is anything sparkly, material things, you just have the desire to buy that thing. Okay, this is one thing that I'm getting. Second thing that you are very charismatic, fashionable, and very confident like the way you walk the way you talk it's very confident number three that i'm getting pile number one you're someone intimidating people get that intimidating vibe from you so it's not easy for other people to initiate the conversation with you because somehow you give that powerful energy to others like very powerful bossy energy to others like a tiger like a lion you give that kind of energy like it's not easy to um start a communication with you so fluently you are not an easy approach okay and also number four i'm getting the pile number one a tarot reader would describe you as someone that you're amazingly courageous you're like go-getter when you want something you will get it through manifestations maybe by putting some effort you will get it nobody can stop you can be a fire sign uh, or can be air sign libra gemini aquarius or Leo Aries Sagittarius 
Okay. Also, pile number one, you'll have to sleep. Or you'll have to uh, enjoy your own lazy time. You're not that workaholic that I'm sensing. You're not that um, you know, work workaholic. <laughs> I was about to say alcoholic, so you're not also alcoholic or workaholic. <laughs> okay, you just spend your beautiful time by doing something else. Hmm. Let's go something more. Oh wow, page a sword. You're very curious. That's a, that's an energy like a bird in a butterfly garden. You're very curious, loving. You're very knowledgeable. Pile number one, you know what? You're very knowledgeable. You got so many knowledge from like mathematics to science, commerce, arts, performing arts, when it comes to histories, okay? Geography and like stars, occult things, spiritual things. When it comes to like medicine, doctor, like you are someone, my pal number one, you just got so many knowledge in yourself. You're a very knowledgeable person and you love to gain lots of knowledge from other things. Okay, that's the vibe I'm sensing. So let's go find out more about who you are. How would a um, tarot reader would describe you to your partner? Okay. What type of person you are okay i will never see being or desiring so group number one when it comes to this romantic relationship you are someone you always put so much effort on your physical look on this connection that this the connection between you and your person will never be old will never get uninterested or like uh damaged I'm getting through time like wine. Your relationship will be more deep and more testy and become more beautiful. So there will never be any kind of cease uh, of being interesting or being desiring. Like your person, like you know, a, ter a territory is really describing your person that your person will never, never feel that uninterested vibe from you, my pal number one. And number one, you always do something to make your person cheerful, interesting, loving. Like you're not boring. That's the word I'm sensing. The card is telling you, you will never cease to be. New desires will be constantly born within you. Source will never stop answering your desires and your expansion is therefore eternal. And so you may begin to relax if in this moment... There is something you desire that has not yet come to fruition. Okay, so you are someone, my darling. You just make your person desire you even in the old age in a very romantic way. Okay, your person just can't get enough of you. They just want to even more and more and more. But you have, when I reverse the thought, I reverse the condition. Wow. Wow. So you are someone, my pile number one. Uh, definitely you are a resolver rather than a solver. You go to the source of the problem and you solve that. You go to the root of the problem or root of the cause. That what is the root cause? Let's go work on that. You are someone like that. There is no condition so severe that you cannot reverse it by choosing different thoughts however choosing different thoughts requires focus and practice if you continue to focus as you have been to think as you have been and to believe as you have been then nothing in your experience will change well my pal number one you are someone through time you will get so many experience and through time you will change your personality it's like you are growing every time. You, you're like, your energy is like superly evolving time to time. You are not stagnant in a situation. And you are having so broader perspective and so broad mind that you are letting your mind change through time. Yes, my slightest improvement is of such a great value. Yes, you are like a king or a queen. You are like, yes, I can learn new things. I can experience new things. My slightest improvement will definitely make my worth and value in different level. Okay, you're someone like that. 
There is tremendous value when you are able to deliberately cause even the slightest improvement in the way you feel for, uh, for even in that small emotional improvement you may have regained a measure of control, you no longer feel powerless and so your track back up the emotional skill is now not only possible but it is relatively easy. So pile number one, you are someone a uh, territory reader is going to describe you as like you can control your own mind and a person who can control their own mind they are most powerful in the world because physically you cannot control other maybe you can control other people physically for a moment but if you become the person who can control their mind who can do anything like you are the most powerful person in the world my pile number one your mind you can control your mind you just know that what people want pile number one it's your power you it's your power like you just know what other people want from you how you can make other people get addicted to you you just know those little needs because of your experience pile number one let me tell you one thing you're wiser than your age you know why because the way you handle situation through your mind it's not easy for others to do that Maybe it will take reincarnation after reincarnation, lifetimes after lifetimes to um, have that skill that you're already having. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go find out more. Let's take one card. This one. You got the Isis cords. What the card is telling you. Are you trying to make changes in your life? Are you willing to change the way you look at things? Open your mind to the unlimited possibilities of both the seen and the unseen. Use your intuitive skills to expand your potential realities. You are a visionary. Okay, my darling, you're intuitive, psychic. You can be some natural born healer. Like generally, just use your third eye chakra a lot to decide things for you. It's perfect. And you are someone, my darling, you sometimes, whenever you're following your gut feelings, you're always guided to the perfect path. So follow your gut feelings, follow your heart. Don't think too logically that what's going to happen, just follow your heart. So what Goddess Isis is telling you, I accept life's impermanent nature and embrace the grieving process. I welcome the transitions that occur as a natural part of life. I adapt to my changing environment. I learn much from the experience of change. I assist people who are challenged by changes. So you are someone, my group number one. There was a time when you were very much afraid of changeness. When you were very much afraid of changing your own self or by facing someone who is changing their behavior on you. But, but look at that this is the divine planning you just experienced so many change in your life you saw that people are changing their behavior through time when they need something from you they're so good and polite with you whenever their mission is complete they got whatever they wanted from you they are changing their behavior and not really giving you the respect that they were giving you before so you just experience those changes in people in situations in yourself that's why you are someone you're helping others to go through that changeness because changeness is the only permanent thing in this world season change we change okay so pile number one uh territory is going to describe you someone who is very transformative powerful loving acceptable that whatever is happening that's happening for good go with the flow things will fall into the places in the perfect timing and you are controlling your own mind you're not controlling other people you can be manipulative sometimes but it depends on your uh, choices or on your situation that whatever is good for you you are someone you are very interesting you're always updating yourself that's why you're not boring at all you're very beautiful and pretty and some like pile number one you are a material girl or material boy you enjoy luxurious things and you will choose your partner just not because money but also because you feel comfortable with them but money is also one of the thing pile number one it's not that you're gonna be just marrying someone with emotional affection and not really thinking about money or background no you're very balanced 
though you're also looking at the love emotions as well as you're looking at their bank and finances because to lead a happy life you need the balance if you have lots of love but not money not good if you have lots of money but no love not good enough so you need both things in a perfect balance and you are someone like that i told you you are mature and wiser than your age perfect for you that's all i got for you my group number one i hope you enjoy this perfect reading so give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for a new update and if you have any kind of topic in your mind share that in the comment section i'm definitely going to make those videos on till then stay blessed and happy i love you my darling so much Hello my darlings, amazing group number 2, welcome, welcome, welcome to your reading. So you choose the night ride, card number 48, okay. So first of all my darling, you are, like you can see the two things here, the elephant here and the owl here. First of all, owl is someone who is very much active in the night, nocturnal animal, who can see the things that others cannot see at that moment when others are sightless owl can go to the different world and see many things that is happening behind the veil you're someone like that you can see many things that are happening behind the veil it's your intuition it's your power like you can sense something that is happening but there is nothing on the surface and with the elephant you're a very strong minded person you are also physically very strong you are a warrior pile number two do you know that you're also very protective of your partner uh territory is going to describe you as someone who is very much protective not possessive or jealous okay protective means that you make your person feel very safe with you like they're going to feel very safe with you very secure with you mentally spiritually physically you give that safety vibe like antivirus yeah you just give that vibe okay so what do you have the night ride the night ride card talks about protector wonder in the night a big brother and friendship so uh terrider is going to say your person that pile number two you are someone you and your person both of you are going to be having amazing friendship like a best friend bestie kind of connection then both of you coming together having the same interests same choices and likes and dislikes and doing something together very funny adventurous couple not really controlling each other not really putting so much restriction so much um uh, boundaries okay no like there is so much smoothness in this connection so an elephant transports two owls on his back a mother with her young bird child protectively she has folded her wings over the young owl said the elephant rides through the night blowing stars up into the sky through his trunk connected with magic and wonder the elephant is a protector a strong shoulder to lean on in all times even during dark times you can feel safe and secure beside him pile number two you give up the energy that you are someone you're like a magician you got that strong magical healing power in yourself that whenever your person is feeling sad bad or disappointed in other affairs they can count on you they can come to you you can give them so much power you can help them to get rid of negative energies so well like you know a shoulder to cry on this is you Okay, like you are someone, you are always there. Whenever your person is feeling low, pile number two, you are, you are very optimistic, you are very hopeful. You are very cheery, you are like a sun. Your energy is so happy. Your energy is like so vibrant, so happy, so energetic. That anyone who just shared their negative stories with you, you give them amazing positive turn. Okay? Amazing positive twist, optimistic twist. You give them to that story. Their everything, their their thought, their perspectives just change so well. You're an amazing psychologist. These are like natural born psychologist, natural born mind reader or a brain wash person. Like you can wash other people's brain so easily. You can use it in both ways so that you can take lots of you know positive benefits for yourself definitely my group number two you're not going to take advantage of other people definitely you're not someone like that because you got this power because of a reason you, you have a purpose so pile number two i can definitely see 
uh, ter territory is going to describe you as someone where your person is going to feel protected, loved, safe, secure, mentally, physically. They can share anything with you and you're not going to judge them. You're not judgmental at all. And you're also someone, my darling, you can see so many things. So many things you can see, you can feel. That has no physical existence. Yes, you got that eye to see things. You got that magical aura, my beautiful pile number two. Let's go find out that how would a tarot reader describe you to your person, okay? So, honesty. Yes, you're a very honest person. Pile number two, you're a very honest person. Honesty is the key to your characteristics. You're honest even to your enemies. You're honest. You're not going to follow any negative path to win a battle. You're, you're honest, you're responsible, you're a virtuous person. Yeah, virtue is there in your blood. Legacy is there in your blood. You're a very honest person, loving person. Yeah, honesty is there. Honesty is there. You will never lie to your person as well. Like a terrorist is going to describe you as someone that you will never use lie to settle down a situation. Honesty is the best policy that you will choose for yourself. You're also someone, wow, teamwork, my darling, you're amazing. Look at that. Can you see the ant? An ant can carry three times more weight than their own body weight okay so you are very hard working you're very hard working you're amazing you're amazing in teamwork like pile number two you you can like uh, you, you you're gonna be amazing helper you're gonna help your person to create this amazing empire like you are the emperor you are the empress you are the empress they're the emperor emperor empress coming together build, building this amazing home amazing relationship together you are so hard working so loving you will never give up on something that is not giving you instant result. You are someone like that. You can be consistent on doing something and wait till the end of the time when it starts in when it starts giving you the profit. You are someone like that. Like Palama 2, you are for the long run. You're not for the temporary games. Okay, you're not like a girlfriend or a boyfriend who is there for temporary time. No, you are like a hubby or wifey material. My pile number two, you're someone like that. A terror is going to describe you someone who is very much successful by doing something um, when it comes to their passion or following their heart. Pile number two, definitely you're going to be earning money uh, when it comes to your life. You are going to do something, earning money. You're going to be rich by yourself, doing things by yourself. You're someone like that. Marriage is not the whole part of your life marriage is gonna be a very gonna be a very important part but not the whole part and number two you're also very much like dedicated to your work or like whatever you're going to do in the future i can see that a territory is really really describing you someone who is very much successful in their career whatever your career might be I can see like you're following something that is good for you. Yes, pile number two, you have so beautiful boundaries. You're like having a seven of ones and nerds. You have your boundaries. You're not letting other people invade your personal life and taking your energies away without your permission. You're not someone like that. You just protect your own space, your own boundary. You are not letting others just come into your life and just just uh, make you feel that you are nothing but an empty can no there is strong boundaries okay you you are very much selective of people and number two you don't have that much friends or someone okay you don't have that friend or something you just do things by your own self and number two you are someone like you are successful by doing things by yourself. You are a solo person. You do things solo and you just get success by doing things by yourself. Teamwork is not for you. Though you got the teamwork card, it's like you are helping yourself. 
self help is here and you are like supporting others if someone really ask help from you are going to be helping them but every time you want any help from other people you just feel like angels and spirit guides are helping you are you understanding my pal number 2 what i'm trying to say so if anybody else needs your help you're going to help them you're amazing helper but when you need help you always ask help from the god from angels from universe and it's the divine power that everything you did or you will do by yourself okay because pal number 2 you're someone you love to do your things by your own hand oops look at that I'm a catch. You are a catch. Pile number two. You are a catch. You are a very valuable person. Look at that bottom of the deck. You got the self worth. Okay, you are the winner. Let me tell you one thing, my pile number two. A territory is going to describe you as someone like people want you crazily. Everybody want you. You just crave so much attention from others. People just want you. You are just everyone's type. Pile number two. Okay, like your future spouse is knowing all this stuff from a theorizer that that their person that is you, pile number two, that you are everyone's type. Everyone really wants a person like you. Everybody feels like you are beautiful. You just fit their fantasy so well. Everybody wants to catch you. You're like a beautiful butterfly in the garden. Everybody wants to be with you. You look so pretty, so beautiful, so attractive. You just a people magnet. Okay, pile number two or someone like that, and ev everyone just wants you. You're just everyone's type. Yes, you just go with everything. Yeah. Okay, let's go find out that when it comes to as a hobby or wifey. So, what kind of hobby or a wifey you will be? How would a tarot reader describe you, my pile number two, as a hobby or wifey? your person okay as a have your wifey what kind of have your wifey are you six of wands you're very successful you are someone you are a very successful hubby or wifey and number two you're going to make your person satisfy them you're going to make them satisfy physically mentally spiritually you're going to make your person feel that they're happy they are successful there is so many success you're getting that that championship you're just in the, like you know on the top of the mountain success is all around you're amazing you're successful hubby or wifey as hubby or wifey you will make your person feel proud of you your future spouse will feel proud of you that they marry you All the six of one talks about social media things. Are you guys are really becoming famous, or your person is kind of like showing you off? This will happen. Your person, your future spouse will show you off because they're feeling so proud of you. Okay, look, I'm 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 really not mentioning that your person is going to treat you like you're the trophy husband or trophy wife. No, but yes, in a way, like yeah, they can. Um, show this kind of energy but in a very positive and in a very proudful way that they're very much proud of you they feel blessed to have a have your wifey like you my pal number 2 see so once there is success success around the world everyone can see like you your person your family members their family members uh, other people can see that you are so successful by creating this amazing relationship Wow, and also you guys are going to be famous because six of wands is going to give me the famous vibe. Like whatever you're doing in this connection, you are going to be very much famous as a happy or wifey. Okay, let's go find out something about my pile number two's characteristics. Okay, these two cards about your characteristics. So you got the moon, you got the ace of pentacles with the moon card. Pile number two, you're very much secretive. You're intuitive. and sometimes you're so emotional you don't say that much that what's really going on in your mind and if you're having some kind of fear in yourself you just hide it behind the dark and not really letting other people know that you are suffering inside in silence you're someone like that with the moon card you're extremely emotional you're extremely loving but you are also very intuitive very nurturing very very much uh, like adjustable and always find the next way to get out of problems 
so no problem can hold you for long in the darkness you will definitely find something else to get rid of the problems and by yourself I am mature someone like that your characteristics is like I will make myself out of the problem by myself it's my problem I will make myself out of the problem you are someone like that you are very intuitive very loving very nurturing emotional mothering vibe is there in you very feminine qualities are there in you very much feminine qualities you you're, you're going to be like very much feminine like intuitive soft nurturing receptive type whoever you're watching feminine qualities will be there in you also with the ace of pentacle you are going to be rich you are going to be doing something by yourself pile number two no matter how much money you will earn but you will earn by yourself you will do something whatever makes you feel good ace of pentacle talks about that you're very much good with money okay you you can manifest money very easily how it comes to your personality you are very stubborn okay <laughs> yes you're very stubborn once you have something in your mind you cannot just get rid of that thought so easily so your mind is like a stone okay it's like there is something written it's not easy to erase it you need to break the stone and by you know to, to break a stone you need another stone so your mind is like Yes, it's written there. You cannot forget things easily. Also, I love it to your someone with the Ace of Pentacles. You believe that everything is blessing in your life. So in a way, you are highly optimistic. So even if a bad thing is happening in your life, you always try to give it a positive ending or a positive um, storyline that maybe this thing happens because that was the reason. With the Ace of Pentacles, you believe in the blessings and you are... Practicing the gratitude that I can feel. Okay. Very strong, like, you know, earth energies there in your chart. My file number two. Like, in your characteristics. You're very loyal, loving, committed. And no matter how much, you uh, know, other people are trying to bribe you, you're not going to be bribed. Okay? No one can just buy you with money. It's your choice that if you want to be with them or not. In this connection, your person is like, is going to know that you are like a two of pentacles. You are very balanced. Physically, mentally, spiritually, your thoughts, your actions will be very much balanced. And you are very playful. You will always find the balance in this connection. That's, be that's beautiful. Look at that. In the bottom of the deck, you got the ten of pentacles. This connection is going to be, wow. Superly loved, romantic, commitment, richness, doing things together, balance. So much love, so much excessive money, excessive things. Pile number two, a third reader would describe you that this connection is going to be rich. Both of you, you and your person is going to experience so much richness and money in this connection. Both of you, when coming together, both of you just attract so much money together. If you guys are like money attractor. Okay. Wow, when my desire and beliefs are a vibrational match. Yes, what this card first of all means, my darling. So, Pilama 2, a tear reader would describe you to your person. But Pilama 2, you are someone, you are manifesting your person in a very powerful way. Your energy is like sun, is like sunflower. You attract things so beautiful in your way. Like whatever you desire, that definitely match with your belief. That vibrational match is creating your reality. The card is telling you that that which is like unto itself is drawn. So the vibration of your being must match the vibration of your desire. Another way of saying that is your desire and your beliefs must be a vibrational match in order for you to receive that which you desire. Yes, my pile number two, you're someone. You can really shift your energy in so beautiful way to attract things towards yourself. Like sun and sunflower is kind of like sun card. You are someone you can mix your desire come into your way so easily. Yeah, sex is about the joy I feel. Yes, pile number two, you're going to be very successful. A tell reader is definitely describing as someone that you're very successful. Look at that. How much successful you are. 
when you are genuinely thrilled by someone else's success that means you are right on the track of your own success is not about getting it done that that measure of success in life is the attainment of the, of the money or the stuff the measure of success is absolutely the amount of joy you feel so pile number two somehow a territory is going to describe you that money is not something that can buy your pile number two yes pile number two money cannot buy you but you buy money <laughs> you buy things through money okay money is not having power on you but you have power on your money you are someone like that you think that okay money okay i can manifest money very easily and you are someone my darling you really think that if if you are absolutely successful that means you feel the joy because you cannot measure your success by money or material things because if you try to uh, measure your success through money or material things you will never be satisfied because money or material things are endless even in the like richest person in the world they are still feeling that they don't have many things in their life they're not still satisfied with the material things that is endless so you are someone my pile number two success is about the joy I feel. So you are someone you feel the success within your heart. You are someone like that. You are someone like that. And a charger is going to tell your person that oh, it's not easy to satisfy my pile number two because when it comes to material things, anything you can buy for them. But when it comes to mind, love, money has no power on that. And you are someone like that, my beautiful pile number two. Every reality has been focused by someone into being. So pile number two, cards are saying again and again that a territory would describe you to your person as someone who manifested them into their life. Like pile number two, you are just manifesting your person, maybe consciously or unconsciously into their life. And both of you got that fifth dimensional connection already. You were taught to face reality before you knew you are creating reality. Do not face reality unless it is a reality you want to create. For any reality only exists because someone has focused it into being. Those statistics about your experiences and others are not about any hard and fast now reality. So it feels like my pal number two, you create your own reality. You are a master manifester. You just do things that creates so many beautiful things in your life and you are someone you're going to create the stars the success and like a sunflower you will attract so many blessings into your life and number two you're someone if you share your stories with others people are not going to believe that really these things really happen with you your life is very magical my pal number two your life is not like a normal one okay thank you my baby lizard so you got this beautiful azurite malachite this beautiful crystal this crystal is telling you are you connected with the all-knowing and all-seeing part of yourself allow for the unimpeded flow of the information knowledge and wisdom that is within you seek out claiming experiences such as meditation and visualization take notice of the signs and symbols around you and contemplate their meaning i release ego arrogance and vanity i am calm i am at peace my spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time guidance from my higher self lights my path i trust my intuition and my internal guidance system pile number two you are guarded protected and guided by your spirit guides by your angels you are never alone my pile number two you are never alone there is so many powerful beings out there watching over you so that you don't do anything stupid anything bad to yourself unknowingly so if you feel helpless if you feel hopeless if you feel like that you just don't know what to do next just call upon your angels and your spirit guides they will send you messages they will uh, send you messages through someone like you are watching this video 
or through songs, through drama, movies, or through your friends or your family members. You will hear the message. You will get the guidance. Suddenly someone will enter in your life and they will guide you. Actually, they are not guiding you. They are just channeling message from your spirit guides so that you can listen that what to do next. You're always protected. You're always helped. You are never alone, my group number two. Let me tell you one thing. If you feel like you're alone, there is no one who is watching over you. If you're doing, if you're feeling like, oh, it's just me and no one is really care about me and think about me, what's going to happen to me next? You are wrong. You are being watched by so many higher beings. You are very important for them. Okay, that's all I got for you, my beautiful group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up. Also, my darling, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon for a new update. And if you have anything, like any topic in your mind, share that in the comment section. I'm definitely going to make videos on this topic. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you, my darling, so much. Hello, my darling. It's amazing. Pile number three. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you choose this beautiful card that talks about pure nature right so pure nature talks about grace blooming youth and freshness pile number three a terrier definitely going to describe you as, as someone to your person that you're gonna be younger than them you're gonna be fresh refreshing energetic a new type that your person has never experienced before both of you are going to be having lots of differences, new things are there, diversity is there. You are going to be very pretty, very pretty, very handsome, approachable, attractive. Everyone wants you, baby, okay? Group number three, okay? A terrier is going to describe you as someone that everybody wants your attention, everybody wants to be with you. You are like, you are like the beautiful rose that everybody wants, okay? And you're very pure, you're, you can be virgin, okay? It depends, definitely it's your general reading. This young girl is flourishing as she develops into a woman. She loves her body and is aware of her unique beauty, just as this girl does. Cherish the beauty nature has given to you. See the softness and grace and keep the secrets of youth in your heart. The red peony symbolizes respect and honor. Idols that must be recognized in ourselves before we can genuinely share our true nature with others. So pile number three, your future spouse is going to know by this terror reader that you are someone, you can control your sexuality, your imaginations. You are not someone that you're going to give up and throw yourself at anyone. No, you're not going to settle down with anything less than your dreams. You are someone like that. You are going to work with your dreams. You are going to manifest your dreams. And you have a very high expectations that whatever you want from your life. And you're not going to give your youth, your love, your body, your mind. Or just not going to throw yourself out there for the for other people to take advantage of you you're not someone like that you're divinely guarded and protected somehow a territory is going to describe you as like um, you are divinely reserved only for your future spouse okay let's go find out that how would a territory describe you you are very pure you're pure you're innocent you're very pretty, very loving. You got natural beauty, my Palama 3. You're so naturally beautiful. Do you know that? You're naturally very pretty. You don't need any makeup, okay? Your eyes, your nose, your cheekbones, or your neck, your body, your hair. It looks so perfect the way you are. You're just natural beauty, like the rose. Rose doesn't need any red color to put on the red color and just putting on red makeup. No, the peony doesn't need anything. It's not rose, it's peony, okay? So, yes, you're like a natural beauty. You're like made by God, heavenly. You got that heavenly beauty. I can see you got the blessing of goddess Radha and goddess Aphrodite. You got the blessing, my pile number three. Okay, so how would the terrier describe you to your partner? 
Okay, okay, okay. Benefits of the doubt. You are someone, my pile number three. You believe in second chance and you believe that people change through time. Once a cheater is not always a cheater. Through time, they get their lesson and change. You are someone like that. So, like, pile number three, you are like a terrier is going to describe you as someone that you believe in magic and goodness in people you believe in the power of angel and devil and you also believe my pile number three that sometimes the devil will the the, the the devil will lose when it comes to the power of angel angelic power so it just you know the lion is helping the deer but the lion is yet the prey the the predator the deer is the prey but the, but the lion is really helping the deer to stand again so it's like okay the in the the terrier is also going to describe you as someone that you and your future spouse at the first meeting you guys feel like you guys are not belong to the same place you guys are completely different from each other one is the predator one is the prey one is like a lion one is like a, a deer like beauty and the beast love story it feels like the first meeting i don't know why but the first meeting you guys feel like okay okay we're like not not in the same page but still there will be like you know opposite attracts this is kind of vibe like i'm sensing but benefit of the doubt you are someone my pile number three uh, like so many people are going to tell bad things about your person to you so that you can leave them but somehow you believe that the goodness is still alive so you don't you don't you're, you're not lose years okay that's what I'm getting uh, Tarjan is going to describe you that you are not a lose years okay you're not going to believe in other people's story without um, without feeling it by yourself you're not someone like that you have you you have your strong boundaries okay you have your strong boundaries my parliament three you just know whom to uh, talk and open your heart and when to shut your heart so that no one can harm your heart anymore so you got the strong boundaries you're very much protected reserved by your own energies you just know what to do perfectly you are introvert you just do your own business you are you're not a gossiper okay you don't gossip you don't gossip you're someone like that okay you, do, you just let people do their stuff and you're just doing your own work you're just minding your own business perfect match yes our terrier is going to describe your future spouse when it comes to you that both of you are perfect match perfect match for each other perfect match congratulations you have gotten your wish this is an auspicious sign that a healthy authentic relationship is either here or it's in the way yes my part number three our terrier is going to describe you that you're the perfect match for your person soulmate twin flame perfect match your person is going to find themselves back after meeting you. They're going to be on the right track after meeting you. You are going to be on the right track after meeting them. Both of you are going to be giving each other second chances uh, to live the life. Second, why I'm saying second chances, I don't know. But for some of you, I'm getting like somehow both of you are going to uh, feel like both of you are different from each other. But there is a strong attraction between you two. Strong attraction between you two. That you guys cannot even explain through words. That why you guys are so drawn to each other. And then you guys will find out that, oh, we are a perfect match. Yes. Maybe your strength is my weakness and my my strength is your weakness. And we both are definitely like perfectly matched with our energies. It's like we are made for each other. Yes. By number three. This is like match made in heaven. Perfect match. Okay, I'm a catch. Yes, by number three, you are a catch. You are a catch for other people. You are like... Maybe you don't even realize my parliament three that how many people got eyes on you and your person can see that your, your, your future spouse can see that how many people wants to be with you and you just not even considering them okay, as your potential. You're just doing your own stuff, but you're, you're like a butterfly. Everybody wants to catch you, but no one can do that because you are divinely reserved for your person. You got so much depth my darling okay you got so much layers you got so like 
Okay, let me tell you one thing. A tarot is going to describe you as someone that you're deep, you're, you're just like an ocean. You're just like an iceberg that only six percent other people can see and other 94 percent is there under the deep sea that no one could ever know so you're like the onion like peeling of the um the layers and layers and layers but you are still new refreshing energetic interesting mysterious you are someone like that you're so mysterious it's impossible to predict you it's impossible to know you you are someone like that, my pile number three. It's so beautiful. Yes, no score keeping. So you're someone, my pile number three. You are just entering in your person's life and your person is going to say goodbye to all of their uh, like partners or if your person got anything like um, having any connection with their exes or someone like that. You, your person is not uh, checking other women or other men anymore. Like at the day you guys will meet... Your person is going to uninstall <laughs> or delete those apps like dating apps or something okay and your person is going to block so many people from their life because your person is like no i'm clearing myself i'm clearing the clutter because i got my perfect parameter your person will do that and this is exactly what the territory is telling your person that at a point of time you are going to meet pile number three. You are going to block all the people who can create problems in your life. I'm going to uninstall and all of the apps, like you know, that like finding partner or something like that. And you are going to be so focused on pile number three. It's like magic. It's like you are divinely guided to this person. Wow! Look at that harmony. Twin flame energies here. Both of you are together together perfect i know in my heart that when something is right it feels easy and breezy with this in mind i banish all stress insecurity and tedious work from my relationship then i invite harmonious relationship into my life and let them show up on their own time easy breezy things are really punctual yes pile number three a tarot is going to describe you that with pile number three, the connection will be so easy, so breezy. It feels like, yes, I met my person. It's it's perfect. It's just us. Perfect. Perfect match. Perfect. Everything seems so perfect. So easy. This connection will start very soon, very fast. This connection will turn into relationship very fast. Very fast moving connections like you guys already know each other from another past life. Inner knowing easier. So as a happy wifey, what type of person you are, my pile number three, okay? As a happy wifey, who you are, you're like two of ones. Oh my God, you just have two different qualities in you. you you're like cute, baby type, innocent, pure. And you're also very much a sexy, passionate, horny, and always trying to make your person... Um, feel like they want you more so you got two sides you got that beastie side you got that cute innocent side that's beautiful like on the bed you're different but when you're outside when you're doing your everyday uh, thing you're you're like very cute you, you're like you're like kitty and you're also tigress or tiger at the same point of time you're like a very kitty very little very cute very loving you know baby type innocent pure and you're also very much beastie protective and uh, very passionate sometimes very much dominating and kinky on the bed you got two sides so yes your person is going to feel like oh my god as a husband as a wife you always surprise them you always surprise them as a happy or as, as a wife like it's like so much fun with you okay when it comes to your characteristics what's there okay the, the knight of sword and the magician oh my god you are the magician you are so skillful whatever you do my darling you're very skillful whatever you do okay your your extracurriculum activities or something that you're good at your passion whenever you're following your heart you're like a magician you're very skillful you're loving you're a master manifester you're powerful you always do so many things you got so many power you're emotional you're material you're just very much stable you're well a communicator you listen to your mind also listen to your heart and you're very much stable. You got so many things in tears, and you're like all rounder. Uh, you got you. You're multi-talented. My pile number three. 
also you got the knight of sword you are someone you are very good at cutting cords you are very good at saying no to people you are very good at uh, saying um, like no to anyone and putting an end to any connection whenever you need it you are very good at abandoning people <laughs> it's like oh my god you are sounding so selfish no it's like knight of sword means like anytime you feel like it's not perfect for you you will come out of this connection you will come out from any connection so easily it's like you put your emotions first rather than the other one that's beautiful it's your characteristic it's like no maybe it's not perfect for me and you will come out this is your vibe but in this connection you will feel right and you will stay with it yes the death energy yes 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 my darling you're very much transformative you, you're like change your intent you're powerful if something is not giving you positive vibe you are going to leave the toxicity and go for the sun you will always go for the sun you'll always go for the things that that gives you shine bright and beauty you're not someone that you will you'll be staying into that stagnant energies anymore yes the tower you are someone my darling you can break anything like it's not that angels are breaking anything in your life you are someone pile number three you will break things down if something is not working for you and you embrace the death by yourself you will create the change in yourself so that you can manifest the things that whatever you want in your life you are someone like that you are someone so powerful like that if something is not working you just get rid of that thing okay just move on let's move on this is this is your vibe this is your vibe my darling okay let's go find out more that what would the reader tell about you to your person okay i will never get there so i will enjoy my journey oh my god it's like marrying pile number three feels like you're enjoying the journey rather than the destination yes this is a vibe i'm sensing you cannot ever get it done because you cannot ever cease to be and you can never hold your awareness yet out of your awareness will be born asking us ask, and another asking and each asking always someone's another answering your eternal nature is one of expansion and expansion is the potential for unspeakable joy so pile number three you are someone like you enjoy each and every moment to enjoy the life you know that the future is very much bright because your present is bright and bright things always create the another bright things. You are someone like that. You're like, yes, I'm very much grateful for whatever I have in my life. And I say thank you to God every day for the blessings in my life. And I know the more I'm saying thank you, the more God will give me good things in my life. I am in the perfect position to get there from here. Yes, yes. Pile number three, you are not really worried that where you are going it feels like how you are going where are you going you're definitely going to your destination you're not worried about that you're like i'm in the perfect position to get there from here yes i am definitely going towards my destination but you as someone you're going to enjoy the ride enjoy the beautiful journey with your person and your person is like like a third is really describing uh to your person that pile number three they're like enjoying the ride with you enjoying the family life with you doing things together enjoying everyday life in the end of the day everything with people it will be perfectly fine nothing has to change in your environment or in the circumstances that surround you for you to begin to deliberately allow your own connection to the stream of well-being you are in the perfect place right now to begin yes like pile number three it feels like you and your person can start anything together anytime you guys can do that so easily so perfectly nothing is going to stop you guys yes i will love where i am right now oh my god oh my god pile number three look at that these cards are so connected look i will never i will never get there so i will enjoy my journey i am in the perfect position to get there from here i will love where i am right now yes pile number three you're like oh my god a terror is really describing you like you always enjoy the place wherever you are you create the positive aura wherever you are you you just spread the positive energy wherever you are even if you are in the cage you feel like you are divinely protected you are divinely caged 
maybe you are just being protected from so many things that uh, that are out there that you cannot even see and you can definitely free yourself at the perfect timing it's like you got the key to the cage you can free yourself anytime but you are just waiting for the divine guidance uh, there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have and we want to assist you in achieving that but we love where you are right now even if you do not because we understand how joyful the journey to where you want to go will be yes my pile number three a target is going to describe you that a family life with pile number three is going to be amazing like an amusement park enjoyment happiness understanding lots of adventures flowers going with the flow lots of emotions and love protection you're going to love the journey with pile number three there's so much of surprises miracles wow pile number three you're you're, you're like you're, you're a very divine being okay whoever watching my video my pile number three you guys are supremely protected there is supreme power that is protecting you that is so happy so proud of you okay so i'm going to take the blue tiger's eye here in this group let's read the card are you looking at something from only one angle do you need to rise above a situation to see with greater clarity it is time to take steps to gain a new perspective on life trust your ability to see things and read situation clearly inner visions and dreams are helpful tools for self-knowledge okay so pile number three if you're really looking at your situation from only one perspective or one angle change the angle okay so what okay so what saint lucy is telling you it is easy for me to see beyond the obvious i accurately read between the lines and hear what is not said i'm grateful for the deeper insights and awareness available to me my higher perspective provides me with safety i'm divinely protected what did i tell okay what did i tell you you're divinely protected yes i am divinely protected pile number three you are divinely protected okay divine will give you the power to see beyond the physical level you will have the power in the perfect timing pile number three i tell you just going to describe you that you are someone very spiritual very loving divinely protected you are loved by god loved by angels whoever tried to hurt you harm you physically mentally spiritually they will get their karma in the perfect timing and parliament three is one of those lucky people that they will able to see that those people who try to break their heart break their backbone those people are suffering by their karma yes okay that's all i got for you my beautiful pile number three i hope you enjoyed this reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon for a new update you can share your topic in the comment section i'm definitely going to make this topic on i love you guys so much stay blessed and happy